Hello everybody, Pinstripe here. Welcome back to the Hogs of War League. This is, of course, week three. We have a match here between Mascatino and Casta, which is uh, a pretty big one, if you ask me. But I'm joined today by ADB95. What's up, everybody? And we're starting off here on Graveyard Shift. These guys are playing on Graveyard Shift, then Ice Flow, and then if it does go to a third game on Skullduggery. And starting with Caster, of course, as Team Lard, Mascatino as Sushi Swine, and immediately <laughs> Caster is uh, going straight for the enemy orderly. I mean, what else are you going to do? Yeah, the, the orderly strategy with the Tranquilizer has been at the heart of this league so far. And if I'm honest, I think I've mentioned it before, but I am quite bored of that strategy. But it's, it's just the question of how exactly do you combat that? I have a few ideas. Let's just say that <laughs> I, I don't. I don't dislike the the medic on medic strategy. Yeah, it's just something that has to happen because at the moment there's not there's not another better solution. Yeah, at the moment it seems to be medic v medic and then grenadier versus grenadier, which is exactly what Cast is doing right now. Getting his health down to thirty two already, and of course tranking the medic right away. So. He's uh, already got the upper hand, which is difficult for the person, obviously, that, <laughs> that goes second. <laughs> Mascatino having a problem with his footing. I'm not entirely sure who hosted this game. Um, I think Mascatino hosted. Okay. Uh, but I, but I'm, I, I'm not too sure myself. Okay, but whether or not these guys will suffer any kind of input lag, I think Caster was expecting something. I mean, he, he Caster doesn't have the greatest internet, but... When he does play against other opponents, sometimes he does suffer from some input lag, but I doubt that's really going to stop him here as he moves his scout. And looks for a good angle here. Probably going to go with the poison gas. Yes, indeed. Oh, look at that angle. <laughs> yeah. Can he get it, though? Gets the one and gets the two. And that's both sappers on Mascatino's team poisoned already. And he does slip off as well. But you do have the big body Decision. of water. Yeah. I thought he was going to go for the scout because Machatino at that, at this point knows how dangerous the poison is mm. on um, on beginner's map like this one. And something that I've been noticing, which is for to me more annoying than the, the medic on medic thing, yeah. is that on beginner's maps, beginner maps, the the lineups ha are pretty much standardized, mm. and that's on another thing that cannot be helped with because if there's no mines no, yeah. or water, you're just gonna have to go with the the safe choices. Yeah, go with the the high health of the sappers combined with the high damage output of the grenadiers, and of course healing of the orderly. But it, it was something I noticed. Ooh. Wow, what a what a good <laughs> damage here. Gets the kill. And a 20. Yeah. So damage to the scout as well, which I'm not surprised at. Obviously, both players seem to have exactly the same lineup. Yep. A combination of two sappers. Which proves my point. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> two sappers, a scout, grenadier, and an orderly. And again here, the angle's lining up quite nicely, this time for Mascatino. This is even a bigger hit if he can connect it. Indeed, he can gain himself an extra turn. But I think it was too close. No, no he isn't. It's That's good. Good amount of power. I mean, Castor got very lucky a second ago as his grenadier didn't quite go in the water. Landed on the tiny bit of land that's in the middle. Yeah, and it's going to be tricky for to, for Castor to avoid skipping that turn. But I'm pretty sure he's going to try. I think he has something in mind. Yeah, he, he could. Oh, is he going to look at jumping on his pig's head, perhaps? Ah, that's no, way too risky. Yeah, it goes against it because he's running out of time already, but going for the quick damage with the TNT. And that will inflict even more damage onto Mascatino and make his job just that little bit harder, bearing in mind that you can only heal once per turn with the orderly. I just wish we had more ways of healing. I mean, healing hands is great, but imagine <laughs> if you had access to the medical dart or medical balls like it would just open things up just that little bit more to be to be able to heal like multiple pigs with the medical balls just just that alone would change 
change things so much. I mean, it wouldn't change the the how how valuable the medic is, I guess. I would I would prefer if it had the medicine dart rather, rather than a medicine ball because mm. that at least limits the number of pigs you can heal to two per turn. That's I mean, true. Yeah. If you use our to our rules, of course. Yeah. Yeah, of course. But he is gonna look to heal him here. Which even oh, if yeah, he... I completely forgot about the medic myself. <laughs> <laughs> Just chilling in the corner. But I mean, even if he does lose his grenadier, it's in the long run, I guess, better than losing a turn. As many of us have found out so far, losing. Yeah, I have found out that a, a, a lot of times that you have to accept losing a turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my main reason for losing against Gaster was the fact that I was obsessed with <laughs> separating my medic and his. Yeah, exactly. And and that's also uh, something I fell into when I played against you as well, which was that I was so <laughs> I was so desperate to get damage on on the orderly that I forgot about all the other all the other characters and what they. Although can I will do. say, I will say on our match. Uh, I was lucky with the positioning in, in the fact that I was always able to dispatch your medic very quickly. Mm. But speaking of positioning, Mascatino here looking to either knock one of these pigs out of bounds, but either way he's going to get a lot of damage here. And he cannot move away from there if he goes there. That, that is happened, true. Ooh, but he didn't. Doesn't go over the fence, the, the wall, whatever you want to call it, but lots of pigs poisoned on Caster's team. But I don't think that's really gonna. I think they him. both have two poison pigs, and they both still have their scout. So we're gonna see more, I guess. Yeah, he's gonna look to jump on his head to damage him twice, drop his health down the, the, to ten. Ooh, gets one. The angle isn't uh, ideal for that, but yeah. he gets one. But also body blocking with his scout as well. Although I think it will be the other sapper's turn shortly oh maybe he's already got i don't know i'm we're both really tired <laughs> yeah uh, but the, the main problem is that you, you there's not really a lot of sense in body blocking a sapper yeah. in my opinion well i was questioning mascatino for a second there because i thought he was going to shoot the medic when you've got a grenadier who could be poisoned which is again what, <laughs> yeah which is what he's going for <laughs> second time around but can he get the shot away try and get the orderly as well i know i don't know what Ooh. he's trying to do oh okay bounces it off now both trees <laughs> and that's gonna that's gonna cost him because you know that castor is gonna yeah he got greedy there yeah he's uh again bouncing on the head of the other sapper so he will lose his turn unless he can be healed but it looks like he should be able to push him off the map here and get the kill on the orderly unless it doesn't have the knockback required. And of course, Caster trying to avoid putting his pigs too close together. See, that's a good play by Caster because at one point in the match, if you do body block the other, the other medic, mm -hmm. you do have to stop at one point because if you exceed the body blocking then you're going to be left with a medic that can, can't do anything, and instead, your the other medic is going to have a chance to move. Exactly. So, plenty of quick-fire decisions being made. And... But if you stop body-blocking the medic, then your medic is uh, a target for the enemy. So yeah. yeah, exactly. I think that's a balanced thing, in my, in my opinion. <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure what Mascadine is trying to do. I mean, he's going to get the kill on the Grenadier, but you can see that he has three pigs that are very close together. One of them is guaranteed to die, but the other two are fairly close together. And I imagine Not Caster... too close, I guess. I mean, I you mean could... if you put a TNT in the middle, maybe they, yeah. got, they get both. <laughs> but he's just going all out on the orderly. He's going to cut off Mascatino's supply of healing, should he be able to do that, but not at this rate. And he has exactly 50, so... Yeah, oh, wait, but that's a bad positioning here. Ooh, I think he might be okay, but that's the end of the orderly. It's now... Oopsie-daisy. <laughs> after, after that, it's now three Look versus... at that line. It's, that would have been a perfect hit for a ga poison gas. Yeah, it's now four versus two. So, certainly advantage caster. He's going to look to heal anyone who needs it. Probably his sapper, who's down to 46 health. 
And of course his medic, his orderly, still has full health as well, so... And a tranquilizer left over. It's going to take three turns out of the sapper. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. So what does he do here? I mean, poison gas is kind of the, the long game, and he doesn't really have time for that, so... Body blocking the orderly is is a, is a, Which, a good move. I don't think so because the, that medic doesn't have any more tranquilizer. So why would you body block him? I mean, he's kind of outnumbered in terms of health, and of course he's about to lose his other sapper. So there isn't really much he can do in this position. So true. Trying to uh, bait caster to be like, screw it. I'm just going to damage my orderly because that's all I can really do. No point going for the sapper and the orderly. Well, when you're at four players and you're basically facing one, it doesn't really matter if you take damage. Yeah, true. I, don't, I did not think about the fact that Machetino only had two pigs. That's going to bump his health down. Don't quite know. 38. So what it's really going to take is... <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> Machetino committing suicide here. <laughs> Well, the ninja has to commit seppuku when he's... He does. He has <laughs> <laughs> brought shame to himself, apparently. Wow, that, w that was really cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, so we're going to finish it with a punch. <laughs> and, of course. And that will be round one to Caster. That's it. So we're going to move on ahead to round two on Ice Flow, which I am very interested to see. He hasn't, Casta hasn't played Ice Flow since, I don't think since Rank Up, I believe. Yeah, since our, our final. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll be back shortly for round two. So welcome back, everybody, to round two of this match between Mascatino and Casta. The guys are just setting up their teams ready for the next round. Mascatino going for a Sapper, Grenadier, an Orderly, another Sapper, and a Scout. So basically keeping the same lineup, just switching them around okay. a little bit. Okay. Okay. Which is interesting because in Ice Flow there's definitely room for a paratrooper, I guess. But somebody does not, doesn't yeah, decide no, to no, use it. No one wants mobility, but Caster is, is definitely taking that choice. It's going first as well with the paratrooper, but I imagine okay. he might be looking to use another paratrooper potentially. It just depends on okay. his position. But he might stick with the engineer instead. Well, mobility is okay, but I don't think two paratroopers are a good choice on ice low. It just depends on what spawn locations he gets in the end. Uh, yeah. Because if he's on the island, I mean, he's guaranteed to be fine. <laughs> but uh, On the other hand, if you get a sapper there... Yeah, that's true. But there is that pickup immediately that is a jetpack, so... Who knows? We shall see. That is, a, that is a very luck-based spawning. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Both of his sappers positioned next to each other, which is, seems to be a common thing at the moment for Mascatino. Both of his sappers close together from the get-go. But it is him to go first, and well... He this... does have a pig right there. He does, but... He's going to go for the orderly, of course, get some... Quick damage, easy damage on him straight away with the TNT, looking to blast him into the water. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Trying to, I guess, body block the the paratrooper, but it is his go. So Where is it? Where is he? Oh, oh he, he got he hit. He slipped down. He slipped down. <laughs> I think he uh, he was looking to position himself a little bit better, but Caster immediately going for the jetpack, going with... Oh, almost poisoned himself. Yeah. But I th he is quite accurate with those jetpacks, but he's going to nudge himself onto the island to remove the jetpack pickup. <laughs> so even oh, more jetpacks for him. Oh boy. But he's going to run out of time, but he, well, managed to poison two pigs during that turn. Did a pretty good amount of damage. Yeah. So a decent start from Caster, which is nice to see. He does obviously not starting with the Grenadier or the Orderly. He's going straight for the Mobility and utilizing the strengths that are on ice flow, i.e. the jetpack on the island. Yeah, it, it, it was pretty clear that it was his plan to just gamble on the fact that there would, there would be a pig there and just yeah. go for it. 
Because, I mean, if it was his own pig, he probably would have left it. Well, he would have left it alone. There's no point going to that island. But now we're going to see some tranquilizers, of course. It has to be. But Mascatino did get a, a decent hit there. <laughs> with some technical issues. Um, <laughs> yeah, it did get some a decent hit there with the... Oh, wait. Again? <laughs> apparently so. Oh. Oh, uh, he got okay the there? He got the shot away, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit of technical issues there, but it's okay. I think we're still good to go. Also, I want to point out that Machatino's Grenadier went straight for the Medic when there were three purple pigs <laughs> on the on the higher ground close to the mines. Mm. And, and that's where you can kind of get a bit blinded in this game. I mean, again, going back to our game, that that's... You can, yeah, exactly. Know. You you do have to go for the medic, but you do have to keep your eyes open for other pigs. Yeah, too. for all the other pigs, the amount of health they have, their position, and I mean, I tried to separate out all the damage between your pigs to try and you know distribute some damage to everybody, but he kind of got a little bit blinded by the medic. But I mean, he did reduce uh, Caster's orderly down to fifty nine health, so he is quite vulnerable from any kind of attack at this point, especially as he is in the mid-ground, but he can be knocked down into the poison water, just like the scout there. Going to take roughly about 60 to 70 damage there. But Caster's Grenadier... Especially, be... especially on this map where you're ba there's very few places where you're totally safe. Yeah, but he's got his Grenadier on the high ground, which isn't really where you want him to be. Um... I mean, you can lob grenades down, but preferably you want to be up close and personal. And that's kind of why he's closing the gap at the moment, looking to chuck a high explosive grenade. Whether or not he can get any kind of damage with this, he can indeed. Oh, 57 damage. That's a decent shot from there. Good throw. And I'm interested to see what he's going to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. He's ignoring the paratrooper. Or at least looking to position close to him. And going for the snippety sniper shot. To get I don't scout. dislike this decision though. Because taking away four turns for um, um, a poison pig. And the paratrooper has to move anyway. Yeah. After the scout would be dead. Yeah and obviously Caster wouldn't want to use all of his jetpacks to deal damage. He wants to use, well needs at least one of them to get off that island. Doesn't want to be positioned there for too long. Which, considering that scout has like around 90 health, he's going to have to use all of them but one, mm -hmm. I think. Well, interesting that Caster placed the TNT there, because actually, if, if you blast the pig into the like the very corner that was you know directly in front of where the sapper was positioned, if you blast them into that corner, they will explode on their own, so you can get a quick kill. Like a sudden death thing, or just they go out outside of the map? Uh, yeah, just a sudden death thing, because the again, it's just the, the the programming, the coding of the game there, getting a bit confused and players exploding. I only found that out the other day, actually. I was recording on Ice Flow, and it just randomly happened. But hmm, look at this. Ooh. I think he's going to kill him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gets the kill. So. It remains to be seen if that 23 was intentional, because the 23 was a good damage, because it would have left him with uh, less than 10. But he was yeah. unlucky with the water. Yeah, but he'll take the kill, no doubt. And I'm sure Caster is about to repay the favor, or at least try to, before perhaps looking to get away. So he's going to use one more jetpack, I think, and potentially Ooh. fly away. The wow, scout still very lives. close. Yeah. Still manages to live, but he's going to remain in place and go with a bazooka shot, trying to get the scout that he just hit. Sorry, the sapper. Oof. Oh, yeah, well, that that was very hard to hit yeah. with one second left. <laughs> that was a tough one. But back to Mascatino. Now, if, you, if I was Machatino, I would check my own scout's health, and if he is in danger indeed, I would chop a high explosive there to hit the, the paratrooper. Yeah, because the last thing he wants right now is to lose a turn. But again, looking to body block. Once... But mm. it didn't show the pig uh, with low health, so I guess he's fine for now. Yeah, but I mean, his his grenadier is on 63 health. 
stood next to a full health sapper, so... Yeah, he had to try to kill the, the, the orderly because, well, this happens. Yeah, and immediately continues to trank Mascatino's orderly. Hasn't been able to use him, like, barely at all in both of these matches so far. Yeah, wait, did Mascatino go first in the first game, or did Caster... Uh, oh, yeah, okay, 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 got it. Caster yeah. did go first in the first one, and, and we he saw Machetino go first here. He did, yes. So, back. He's going to go classy with a TNT. <laughs> I mean, he, I don't, you don't think he needs to do too much here. Just blast him in the right direction. He's on 76 health. So he, he does should... have the advantage, though, so if he kills him, it's not going to be a big deal. Yeah. Ooh. But I think he will get lucky. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sure the last thing Mascatino wanted was for his pig to survive just then. Surely. Yeah. <laughs> so, both players trading blows, but take a look at Caster's Grenadier's position here in the house. Hmm. Uh, it's a shame he didn't use a shrapnel grenade there, because it's such a confined space that you are more likely to connect with the extra bits of shrapnel deal more damage, but again, at the moment, it's a game of TNTs and water damage, which should be another kill here for Caster. Well, I think the shrapnel is more like a, a matter of where it detonates. Mm. Yeah, that's, in, that's in, true. In, in, um, and, and the pig's position. But nevertheless, Mascatino ends up losing his Grenadier, which, as I said, was pretty likely considering his position. But at the same time, where exactly do you go from there? I mean, yeah, body blocking is, is your best chance, but Caster hasn't really been subdued by that at all. He's, he's managed to work out his own positioning pretty well and sort of work around Mascatino's attempts of body blocking. Interestingly enough, he decides to stay there, mm. which may be a good decision since the, the, the scout is dead. But again, it leaves open a pos the possibility for Machetino to hit the paratrooper and kill his teammate in the process to yeah. save his extra turn. But, oh my goodness me, look at that rocket launcher shot from Caster. Right in the nose. <laughs> oh, it takes a rocket to the face, kills the orderly, and well, the scout appears to be on fairly low health. And the other, only other pig is uh, poison too, so that's going to be game, set, and match. Potentially, it looks like there isn't really much of a comeback here for Mascatino. He has his work cut out for him, and he's going to and kill again, himself. And again, he's going to Fuku again. <laughs> <laughs> but he will take out the Grenadier here, I think. I guess there was a point this yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to do it. Takes out the Grenadier, so his life wasn't in vain. But Caster seems to be finishing with a full health sapper. I was half expecting a Caster to put a TNT right there and stay there. <laughs> well, finishing that, I mean, he finished with a full health sapper and a full health power trooper. Neither of them taking any damage, but very well played from both teams. Thank you for joining me on this one, ADB. Yeah, thank you for... Let me join. Yeah, that was, a, that was a very quick game. I wasn't expecting it to be so fast, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the other matches and, of course, the matches coming up this week. Plenty more to come. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you later for the next match.